three knockout combinations. All of these have been used in fights and you'll see those on the screen. We're gonna break them down on the mitt so you know exactly how to pull them off and why we're pulling them off. So combination number one, we're starting with the jab. We're using the feet to exit, get out of range of the opponent and then get straight back in with a second phase attack. On that second phase attack, we're using the one, two. So just to break it down real quick, we start with the jab. So you use the feet to get out, back foot first, and then coming straight back in, using that weight on the back foot to really spring and accelerate into the second phase attack with the one, two. All right, so we put that together, it should be a nice rhythm to it. Jab, step back, one, two, all in that same rhythm. Let's try it, jab, out, boom, good. You can hear the rhythm on that, it's one, step back, one, two. And again, jab, out, good, perfect. So really good for developing that rhythm, developing footwork, and helping your boxers understand how to get in and out of range quickly. And that second phase attack, that one, two, as you saw in the clip, can be really powerful, especially with the footwork behind it. One more time on this first combination. Set it up with a jab, get out with the feet, come back in with a one, two. Nice, perfect. All right, so the second combination, again, we're starting out of range. So this is a great way to get inside. And as you see in the video, it covers that distance. So your opponent thinks they're safe, right? Now the first punch, the hook, can be a kind of throwaway punch. That's there to set up the power shot, which is the cross. So don't worry about the power too much with the hook right here. It's simply to get the feet in with the hook and distract the opponent and then throw that two straight down the middle as we saw in the clip. All right, so we're gonna stay out of range to start. So make sure your boxes are away from that full length jab and then they're gonna push off the back foot and land the jab as the feet land coming in boom and then from there just that straight right down the pipe just a two punch combination so we're out of range the power's in the feet we're pushing off the back foot coming in with the hook <laughs> nice good and the hook's just nice and light and quick it's just a distraction to set up that cross down the middle and i like to show the target from the start right here so your boxer can see exactly where both punches need to be ready on the toes little bounce go <laughs> nice good go <laughs> Perfect. So there's a good example of how to get into range with the feet and the punch at the same time, landing that power punch behind it. So there's combination number two. Before I get to the third combination, which is actually going to be working inside, up and in close with your opponent and trying to land a body shot. Before I get to that, just want to remind you, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification. That way you'll get notified of the videos coming out each week. Leave your comments below. Let me know your favorite knockout combination as well. I'd love to hear it. And we can, maybe we can break some of those down on the channel as well. So the third combination, we're actually going to be working inside. So if we we're in close right here this is where we're kind of working that inside range so you see in the clip this is again the first two punches of those kind of we call them throwaway shots they're actually just designed to distract the opponent and create the room for the power shot so with the first two punches we're not looking for any power intensity we're going to start with two uppercuts those are just designed to get the hands up to create the space for the body shot so we're going to start with a lead uppercut then we're going to come a rear uppercut and it's the rear uppercut that allows the boxer to get in position to set up the body shot there, right? So with the right uppercut, as she lands that punch, I wanted to encourage to drop and really sit into that front leg and get in the perfect position to then whip that body shot under the ribs. So from, from this angle, it might make, if we were in a fight scenario, the hands are up. She, what she's doing with those first two uppercuts is just trying to distract my attention. So she throws the left uppercut, I try and defend that. She throws the right uppercut. They don't have to be hard shots, it just kind of distracts my eyes a little bit. But as she's dipped over, you can see I've, that's brought the hands up. Now that space is wide open right there for that body shot to land. And that's what we see in the clip right there. So double two uppercuts, lead uppercut, rear uppercut, body shot. Real simple combination. If you ever find yourself in this position with an opponent or in sparring, this is a great one to try and pull off. Two touchy shots and then whip the body shot in with power. <laughs> yep. So again, for, for the rhythm on this, we're looking for one, two, bam, three. One, two, three. And really sit down and whip the hook in. Bam, bam, bam. Good. Nice and light up top. Touch, touch, power. Twist your shoulders. <laughs> bam. Good. And again. <laughs> bam, bam. Good. One more. <laughs> Nice. Now when you're catching this punch, this combination on the mitts, to drill this with your boxes, I like to keep the mitts real narrow right here, so create that kind of head, realistic target vibes. So right here, I'm just keeping them in the same zone, about shoulder height, and then quickly getting that right mitt in position with the left mitt behind it, so your boxer can really dig in and land that with some power, and it's nice, solid impact for them. Again, boom, boom, boom. So as soon as that right mitt's landed there, I'm getting that back into position for the body shot. Ready? Go. Good. Go. One more. Good. All right, so there you have it. Three realistic knockout combinations that we've seen play out in fights and how you can now put them into practice on the mitts and drill them over and over to get better, really improve your technique and, and hopefully try and pull them off in your sparring. Don't forget, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel and check out Realistic Boxing Combinations Part 1 also on my channel right here.